five and a half years ago, I woke up one morning and literally was like, something needs to change. I'm going to adopt a dog. I am a female runs of my way. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm in Brooklyn, um, waiting forever, and they bring out the skinniest, like, it, it took me back how skinny he was. Like, he was emaciated. He was 42 pounds. I put him in the back of my car, and all I could think of was, there's a pit bull in my back seat and I'm just driving into Manhattan. Um, I've been terrified of dogs my whole life until I got Charlotte. The first few times in the dog run were really rough for me. Um, and Charlotte um, had been repeatedly attacked by a pity. Um, and I didn't, like, you know, you, you buy into the media hype. If you don't educate yourself and learn, all you're doing is, um, you know, basically being gullible to the garbage you read about people. After two days, I decided there was no way this dog was going to be a foster. He was my new guy. Um, he was really sick. He had canine influenza. Um, he almost didn't make it. Six months after I had him, he had changed my life. I was like, I want to like change. I want to make change. I want to matter. I want to do what I can. Growing up, I literally was like that chubby, red-headed kid with crooked teeth and boy short hair. But I think it gave me kind of an insight into being bullied. And to see an entire group of dogs bullied just bothers me. I've literally turned such a like, completely different side to all of this and now have dogs in my life that um, I just feel like it's really easy to change if you're receptive to it.